Hello everyone, welcome back to this video tutorial of Dynamics 365 Sales. In this particular video, we will see how to set up price list and price list items. So basically, if you see price list and price list items will help us to determine how the products are priced while selling to the customer. And whenever we add an opportunity product or product to opportunity, the pricings that we are seeing within opportunity product are based on the price list and price list items that we have already set up. So here we have we can create different uh, price list one for uh, retail customers one for wholesale customers and one for uh, distributors and similarly we can create price list for offer also. If we are running some offer for one week we can create a price list for that uh, period and we can associate the products to that price list and whenever we associate the price list in the opportunity and we add products the new pricings that we have set inside the offer price list will be uh, seen in that opportunity product now i am in dynamics 365 sales hub application to set up a price list i will go to app settings from here i need to choose price list so before we create a price list we need to ensure that we have a product in the system so for this demo i will use television 1 30 in, 32 inch product okay so this is the product that i will be using for this demo so in this product i have the basic information for unit group units and price list i have the uh, default value set up over here and then i have this price list item so currently you can see there is one price list item so i have currently created it for default price list so what we will do right we will use this product and for this product we will be creating a price list items and then we will associate it in an opportunity okay so to create a price list i will go to price list page from here i will create a new price list So this is my retail price list and here I can enter the start date and end date as well. So in case if I am going to use this price list only for a particular period of time then I can give start date and end date. And once the price list is created I need to associate the product within price list items. So for that I need to create a price list item. So here I will be using TV1 32 inch product. And if I go to pricing information tab here I need to enter the uh, price for which I need to sell this product inside pr retail price list okay so for now within this price list I will be setting a price as 32,000 so here within this pricing method currently I have uh, chosen this currency amount value but we have different set of values so in the next videos we will see how these different uh, pricing methods work okay but for now i will just go with currency amount and i am giving the amount as 32000 my first price list is now ready so this is my first price list retail price list and here i have added my product tv 132 inch and within this price list i am setting the price as 32000 for this product okay now i will create another price list for wholesale okay price list And here also I will come to price list items and then I will associate the same product here since this is for wholesale I will give a reduced price over here here I am giving the price as 30,000 save and close now you can see I have uh, two price list one is retail price list and wholesale price list within retail price list I have given the price as 32,000 for TV1 and within wholesale price list I have given the price as 30,000 for the same product now if I open this product and go to additional details you can see these two price list items are automatically added so earlier I have only this default price list item but now I can see the retail price list and wholesale price list so these two price list items I have added from price list and it is visible inside my product as well okay so earlier i was talking about uh, the pricing methods right so that will be based on this pricing tab that i will set in my product but for this demo we will not uh, look into this pricing and pricing methods in the next video we will see how this pricing and pricing method works okay so now i have my two price list created with this i will go to opportunity and we will see how it works 
I'm in my opportunities page from here I will open the test opportunity that I have already created and from here I will go to products so I can see this price list field here right so this is the place where I can link my price list with my opportunity so first I will try with retail price list and I will add the same product TV one Okay, now you can see the estimated revenue as 32,000. The reason is within retail price list, I have given the price as 32,000 for this television one, 32 inch. Now I will just remove this and I will change the price list to wholesale price list. And again, I will add the same product, television one, 32 inch. Now you can see the estimated revenue is coming as 30,000. The reason is within wholesale price list, I have set the price for this product as 30,000. Now I hope you understood how the pricing works within Dynamics 365 based on price list and price list items that we set. And another thing that I want to highlight here is uh, this, this price list field is optional here, right? But we can make this price list as mandatory as well. So if it is mandatory, then the seller or the user who is working on this opportunity will be able to add products only if price list is set. For that, we need to go to app settings. And from here, under product catalog, we need to select product catalog settings. We need to disable this particular property, make price list optional. So if I disable this, then the price list field in opportunity will become mandatory. I just saved it and now I will go back to opportunity. Now you can see if I click on add products without selecting a price list, it is showing me this error. Okay, so now we will again go to the same settings page. and we will make it as optional and then I will come back to same opportunity I will refresh the page once and now if I click on add products without selecting price list it will allow me to add a product see now it is allowing me to add a product even without selecting a price list so with this we are completing this price list and uh, price list items functionality in the next video we will see how the pricing methods work within price list